Holly Ella class. Here's your home learning for Friday. Well done, we've made it to the end of the week, so I'll just run through the things that I'd like you to have a go at doing today. So today, um, we're going to have a go at writing some long U words. So I'm going to call out some words, I want you to write them down, and then we will have a look at checking off how we spell those words. Now remember, whereabouts in the words, you get these different U sounds, and make sure you are thinking, and there'll be two for each of the different spellings. So the first word we're going to write, tune. I can play a tune. And few. I have got a few sweets left. Blue is my favourite colour. Mute. Can you press the mute button on the television? Spoon. Please use the spoon carefully. And flew. The bird flew south for the winter. And clue. Please give me a clue as to your name. And, oh, no, I've done that one. And moon. The moon is very bright today. So let's have a look at those words. Tune. Now we have to be careful with that. With the U, it does start to sound like a ch, but it's actually the T. So we've got tune. And that was made with that split vowel digraph. Few, the U is at the end. So we've got F, the E and the W. Blue, that U is at the end again. And that's made by the U and the E as in the colour. It is a homophone, so you can spell it like that. But my sentence, I said my favourite colour is blue. And that's blue as in I blew out my birthday candles. Mute, you have got... The split vowel digraph in mute, spoon, you've got the double O in the middle there, flu, you've got the U is at the end and is made by that EW, clue, again it's at the end, oh, whoopsie, my U came out as an E. So you've got the U, E and then moon. We have got the double O on the end there. So have a go at writing those. Spelling Shed, there is an activity on there where you can revise all of those spellings. Guided reading. So we're thinking about clarifying today. Who was the main character in the book? How do you know? So think about who the main character was and how you know that, what clues there were in that text. So today we're thinking about 3D shapes. And what we're going to do today is I'm just going to have a run through of some questions and I want you to come up with some answers. So, name a shape with four edges. What sort of shape? We could have had a square or an oblong. They've all got four edges. Name a shape with six faces. Now, faces appear on 3D shapes. So, you might have said a cube. A cube's got six square faces. A cuboid has got six faces. You also might get, you might get, oh no, a square based pyramid has only got five. Maybe if you have a pentagonal based pyramid, that might have six because you'd have five sides and then you'd have the base. Name a shape with a square face or a shape with a square face. We might have something like, we could have a, a cube. A cuboid can have a square face. A pyramid could have a square face at the bottom. Name a shape with curved edges. A circle, a semicircle has got a curved edge. Name a shape with six edges. These get a bit tricky. Six edges, that's a hexagon. Well done. So today, thinking about length, you will need a ruler or a tape measure or something, and I'd like you to have a go at measuring again like we did before, but we're not measuring height, we're measuring length. 
So if you can measure the length of some things in your home, and don't forget, when you are measuring, you always need to start on the zero. Some rulers and tape measures, you will have a little gap on the end before the zero. Make sure you're always starting from the zero. And record that information in a table. So say, if you measure the length of the radiator, write radiator, and then write how long it was in centimetres. So you are measuring in centimetres, not inches today. Suffix is, you have got some words on the timetable. Have a go at adding that meant suffix onto the end. Um, like employ, meant, and then you might have to find out what some of those words mean, just so that you're clear on how you can use them in a sentence. So you might need a dictionary or Google to help you there. So then once you've written those words, have a go at putting them into some sentences. Our handwriting today, we're going to do one word for each of the spellings that we were learning. So we're going to do shrew, so we've got an S, tool H, over, into the R, into the E, and into our W. True, tool T, R, U, and E. Um, flu, tool F, tool L, E, and W. And then our split bar diagraph, we can have... Oh, I think I, oh, tune, we'll have a tool T, into a U, into an N, and then we've got our E on the end. And today we're finishing our week with our science. Now last week, you were using some balls, and we were thinking about the different sizes of the balls, and we were finding out whether the size of the ball made a difference to how far it would travel down a slope. And I talked about making a slope out of a book, or something, whatever you've got at home to make a slope out of, and seeing how far the balls will run. Now what we're thinking about today is the height of that slope. If we change the height of the slope, does that affect how far the, bowls, the balls will roll? Not the balls, don't roll a bowl, especially not if it's got anything in it. See if the, diff the height of the slope makes a difference. So you'll have to do some different recording today, and you may not want to use all six balls, you might want to select maybe three, and you might want to think about how high, because you don't want to necessarily change the height by a centimetre each time, you might want to have it resting on the ground, well we know what will happen there if we try to roll the balls, mm -hmm. so maybe lift it five centimetres, maybe ten, maybe fifteen, think about what happens to those balls and recording about how far they travel, okay? So have a go at your science, and again, we don't need Nelson. Have a think about your PE, and think about your new Forest School Sports Partnership. Have a go at the challenge, make sure you're keeping active and you're getting out there and you are doing some things. You could always do our PE lesson, you don't just have to do it on a Wednesday, you could have a go at doing that during the week as well. So take care, I hope you had a great week and I will see you all again on Monday. Bye for now.